I am literally, pretty much literally off the boat, so it's about 12 o'clock even though it's only, what is it here? It's tea time here, isn't it, really? So I'm, uh, I'm kind of in a daze. I'm in a bit of a dream and it all feels a bit surreal. Easygoing guy and to see Khan come to life and it was like, he all of a sudden stood up straighter and his you know, back was like ramrod straight and his head would tilt in these precise angles and I just, it was so much fun to watch. Okay, now. <laughs> Benedict is so creamed up right now. One spot, two spot, three spot, four spot, two on the wrists. Tommy needs us to sign this bit of paper. It says, I, the undersigned, hereby accept liability in the participation with the Paramount Pictures production Star Trek II. Recognize that the topically applied emollient known as neutron cream does not exist. What? <laughs> I always feel bad for the people who are being pranked. However, to see Benedict and John Cho and Carl Urban get punked the way they did, it was wildly satisfying. Imminent collision detected. Khan, use evasive action. There is debris directly ahead. I see it. Tail mark. Ultimately, all we had were two guys hanging on a wire in front of a green screen. We had it down to the lens, so we knew exactly what lens to put on. Uh, we have tons. And somehow, through the magic of stage lighting and set design and how we framed the camera, the whole environment as is, and somehow, through the magic of stage lighting and set design and how we framed the camera, we would need planes. The guys flying along at enormous speed along on these wires as they came into the ship. We were on the floor doing the slide in because Jay had this brilliant idea of pulling Colin, one of the brilliant camera operators, back along the floor on his belly with a camera. And Khan's all in control and very serious as if he's done it before. It's all about being in control. And Kirk's going Whoa, 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 whoa. And I got up and I was like, did, did you see that? Did you ever see that? Did ever, it was just, it was like test riding a, an adventure theme ground ride. It looked fantastic you know even without the wires painted out it looked genuinely thrilling i was quite jealous we'll smash into the rear wall like insects on a windshield hello that was new wasn't it it's a portable transport beaming device are you sure of course I'm sorry, you bastard! It's a big <laughs> thing made of metal, what does it look like? <laughs> <laughs> I just got a few ideas for what happened. Star Trek 3. Like literally every week this happens. Yeah? So... Spock, stop staring. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had my own ship. I've had a Ford Toro. Stop, stop, Pine. Ready? I got it. Pine! <laughs> no! Chris! We're losing him. <laughs> She's gotta get it out, hold on. I might have to take it I had something too to, to... <laughs> get it. There's been a few issues here. There's greatness in you, Jim. But there's just not an ounce of <laughs> <laughs> spice. Just for doing what I think's right. But what did you do, <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so let's get money. Because I think that's what you want, and it's what I want. And the sex is going to be fantastic. Let's get out of here. He used my own friends to control me.